Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am continuing with the same part of this tutorial over here, the next part. So as you can see we have done with the lighting part over here. So still we are going to work with some of the lights over here. So let's get started. So very first of all as you can see I have assigned one V-Ray light, V-Ray sun, two V-Ray lights over here. Now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll go into the render setup. I'll go into the V-Ray. I have kept it as a V-Ray lens source filter. And if you want to increase its subdivisions, so I have used or used local subdivisions over here. And also I went into the material editor and I activated this subdivisions, increase the subdivisions to increase the quality and and you know to reduce the noise over here now what I'll be doing is like let's go into this and let's take a atmospheric apparatus and I'll take a gizmo over here let's take a box gizmo over here let's just slightly push it over here in this way select the light rendering let's go into the environment and I can add V-Ray environmental fog over here I can increase decrease this fog distance over here I can work with its subdivisions step size and also I'll go into this and I'll definitely add a gizmo over here. So how I can add, I can just select this. You can add a gizmo. You can add a light over here. Add a gizmo over here and your V-Ray sun over here. Also, I'll go into this. and affect GI over here let's go into the camera and let's slightly render it so now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll go into rendering render setup and if I off this GI and let's render it you will see a bit of a fog over here coming in over here from the window so I'll activate this let's go again back into the perspective go into rendering environment settings we can keep it as effect GI also if you want I can take one more duplicate of it if it is required over here you can select this and you can go into this gizmo over here environment fog let's go into the setup over here let's go down and work with the settings over here So we can just increase this fog distance to 2500 
scatter bounce I'll increase it to 2 fog height is ok subdivisions we can increase to 24 over here we can keep this step size to 2 0 point your cut cutout threshold we can keep it to 0 0.003 and maximum steps will keep it as 500 over here so once you are done with this we can just again go back and let's render and see how it looks like so now what I'll be doing over here is like uh, again I'll go back to the perspective view again I'll go into the setup so let's go into rendering environment you can again add one more VRA environmental fog over here add add this add this and for this what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be slightly reducing its distance and I'll off this effect GI so now let's go into this camera and let's render and see how it looks like So for one we can activate this effect GI option. So for your first we can activate this effect GI and for this we will off this effect GI and let's render and see how it looks like. much better so if you go into rendering render setup and if you deactivate this and see how it looks like let's see the difference You can activate the GI if you want or else it won't look good. And again go up for this slightly reduce it. and let's just render it again so definitely it's going to take a longer time for this rendering over here so if you want to add some more reflections and all this that can be easily done So now what I want over here is like I'll be taking one more light over here I'll be taking one light I'll be selecting this light over here I'll go into the material 
So if you want to add a HDRI, you can go with the HDRI also, not a problem. So let's go into this. Uh, let's get material and we can go with this V-Ray HDRI. So I'll activate this V-Ray HDRI over here and I'll locate the HDRI map. So if you have a HDRI map, please locate the HDRI map, make it as a spherical over here and into this light settings. Uh, you have a texture over here. Let's just drag it over here into this. Also, press 8 into the environment. If you like to add this, we can slightly add this also over here. So let's go back to the camera view and let's see how it looks like. So if you are adding a V-Ray HDRI, you can easily add a HDRI. Also, uh, into this render setup over here, I'll go into the V-Ray and if you want to activate the GI environment, you can activate this GI environment. But GI environment is like a automatic map. So if you want, you can also add this over here and you can render this so into the GI environment it's going to render the property over here I'll just off it again render it and let's see how it looks like so lighting is also more of a technical and you know you need to do a lot of research also for that how you are going to work so as you can see over here, I have, I have removed the V-Ray sky from the background and I have added a HDRI map over here. So you will definitely see the reflections from the environment into the scene over here. So guys, if you have any doubts, please write it in the comment section. So I will definitely put the this rendered output in the the thumbnail of it so thanks for watching this tutorial